Hi, I'm Steph Davidson. And I'm Drew Niven. And we're from Associated Seafoods and this is our short 10 minute video today for DYW Murray on skills. Okay, Drew, so how long have you been Associated Seafoods and how did you get there? I've worked with Associated Seafoods for three years now. Um, I came from Bucky High School and in fifth year decided to join the Career Ready programme. Through Career Ready I was placed um, for an internship with Associated Seafoods which lasted for four weeks um, and then at the end of my internship I was offered a full-time position with the company. Steph, do you want to tell us how you ended up in CSR and how you ended up working for Associated Seafoods? Uh, yes, yeah, so I left school to study marine biology at university and um, when I went to university the plan was always to work abroad. And after I finished uni I decided that I'd like to look for something a bit more closer to home so I started looking around at the oil and gas industry and also the seafood businesses um, from there I got in touch with some companies to see if there was any sort of roles available in that kind of businesses um, and then that's how I ended up at Associated Seafoods. Mm -hmm. Steph and I are now going to have a conversation about the skills that we use inside and outside of the workplace. We're going to start with communication first. So communication is something that's changed quite a lot over the past couple of months. When I first started, we were all in the office together, so it was easy to retrieve information from one another. Um, however, now, because of COVID, that's obviously changed. A lot of the communication's done via Skype now. Mm -hmm. I know, a lot of what I've been using as well is Zoom calls, and it's not just in the office I've been using them for, I've been using it them um, for home to talk to friends and family as well that we've not been able to see over the past few months. No, I agree. My way of socialising with my friends at the moment is through house party and Skype. So we get a few of us onto a group chat and then we kind of have our drinks over <laughs> the screen instead now. So that's a change from going out to obviously the pubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Communication is so important and it's so clear that the skills that we can learn inside work, we can use them outside of work as well. And the same as the other way around, if we learn them outside work, we can take them into the workplace as well. Teamwork's a big part of the business. Um, in my role, I know I've got to communicate effectively between the departments, especially with um, the production operatives. If I have to hold a training course, the manager's got to be aware, and then I've got to ensure that the timelines work for their staff as well. Another reason why teamwork's very important would be the language barriers inside our workplace. We have seven different nationalities at the moment. So it's important that everyone works as a team to make sure that all the instructions are communicated effectively. Teamwork is a big part of home life as well because I think when you're doing, trying to do things with your friends and family as well, you need to be able to do a bit of teamwork. So Steph, are there skills that you've learned in your social life that you feel are transferable into the workplace? Definitely, because I think at home I have to use a bit of teamwork to negotiate with my brother to get things done. It's quite similar in the workplace sometimes when you're looking to get th something done. So in the Career Ready programme, what kind of skills did you learn through that? Employability was a big skill that I learned. Things like shaking someone's hand, I'd never done that before. And I mm -hmm. remember it made me feel very uncomfortable the first time I had to do it. At least with Covid you don't have to do that just now though. I agree, but rubbing elbows is just as awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing um, to comment on was stuff like turning up to your work on time, your mm -hmm. timekeeping, um, dressing professionally and just how you present yourself in the workplace. I think that's also important outside of the workplace. Mm -hmm. Like You've got to represent your company well in the workplace and out with. Mm -hmm. Aye, my boyfriend's always giving me in trouble for being late. So these skills do transfer. I really enjoy where we work because there's quite a lot of people that have been there a lot longer than we have and it's nice to learn things from them as well as them learning things from us. Definitely, like an example would be the older people in the office, they come mm -hmm. to us for IT and computer problems, even if it's just fixing a Word or Excel document. So it's nice to know that we can teach them something as well. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. It's the same outside the workplace really. Our granny and granddad is always asking us to help them fix the Wi-Fi or their iPad. And we can also learn from them as well outside of work. So I think we both agree that there's a lot of skills you can learn outside the workplace in your personal life that you can take back into the workplace. 
and we're both still learning every day you learn something new mm -hmm. um, for example I'm still studying at the moment with CIPD so I'm still learning skills it's good to be able to take that into the workplace and apply it to my work. Mm -hmm. No matter what stage you are in life, you always learn skills that can be used in the workplace and at home. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.